Hello guys, this is Adam. Welcome to the Adam Lab. I hope that you are doing good. Today we will be seeing can we make a video game using Unreal Engine 5 and if we make a video game what it would be the specs and then what it would be in terms of the frame rate and all of that. Now I do have a game in the background that is uh, open and it would not be entirely a game. It would be more of a um, real time uh, rendering comes to building the game assets it took 18 seconds so simply what i did is i went to build and then it clicked build all levels and it took only 18 seconds to build everything i will try to leave a link for this project it's called stylized kingdom you can find it on the epic store it is for free and it will work on Mac and Windows. So you can download it and then after you download it, you can give it build all levels and see how many seconds it would take with you or minutes. Before we dive deeper, the Mac is connected to power because it only makes sense that it's connected to power when we are talking about video games and talking about making video games. The specs of the machine that we are working with, 64 gigabyte of RAM, eight terabyte of SSD, then 32 core GPU with 10 core CPU. So this is the fully specced out M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. For the power mode of the Mac, it is set on um, automatic, so it's not set on high power, so everything is at the default setting. What we are getting right now is 73 frames, which is good. Now we jump to 75. And right now we are at 100, 105 frames. So in this scene, it did jump. Now it's back to 73. It's stuck at 73 so far. And now it did jump back to 100 frames as well. And it's still at 100 frames. Is it going to continue with 100 frames? Now we're looking at 110. Now it's 88. So far, it hasn't went below 80 and we are at 100 and I believe this is the last scene before it ends. And yeah, that is the last scene. Now I believe it will start over and then it starts over again at 73. So there is, let's say, no in-game anything that you can do. It's more of just assets being rendered and run real time. It's not, let's say, a CGI that has been pre-processed already. No, this is everything is being um, rendered real time and you are getting frame rate in real time as well let's go ahead and take a look at the status so with the GPU the GPU sometimes it's being used 100% and sometimes it slows down and I believe we can see that through the frame rate and then when it comes to the CPU the CPU is chilling we do have 10 cores for the CPU but literally what we are using was only three cores the four and the fifth and the seventh just a little bit like a tiny bit from the sixth to the fourth just a little bit but from the seventh and beyond all the way to the tenth these cores are not even being used so the cpu is really handling everything as it should and there is not a lot of pressure on it but the pressure is on the m1 max gpu which is again that is the highest gpu that you can get which is 32. when it comes to the ram we are looking at a usage at total usage for everything at 18 gigabytes and then Unreal Engine is using four gigabytes and then Epic Game using two gigabytes. So four plus two, that is six gigabytes. So you can say Unreal Engine is using six gigabyte as a total from the RAM. But the total usage for the RAM is 18 gigabytes, which means if you have 32 gigabytes of RAM, you will be good to go if you are, let's say, making a 2G game or a 2.5. Now we will go ahead and run factory environment. And then we will see with factory environment how many frame rates we will be getting as well. Okay, so this is now open and built. And then the GPU is being used. The CPUs, we still have four calls chilling. And we are using 27 gigabyte of RAM. So we will go ahead and run it. I have actually not run this project before. So this will be my first time running it. We are looking at... 30 frames now it's 60 frames 70 so it depends it goes up and down can jump 
Right now we are at the solid 60 frames. We jump to 70. So it's not a stable. Um, it goes up and down. In some areas it really goes up and in some areas it really goes down. That's cool. <laughs> Open the door. This is actually looking very nice. We have a 40 frame for the quality is set to the highest. So da -da 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 -da. let's see. So there is a TV here. Let's open that. Let's go down. Oh, da -da -da. Okay. When we get to here right now, it's set to 25 frames. Now we are back to 40. So again, it goes up and down. Um, I'm sure it works with the controller. I knew that the project would be like that. I would have brought the controller in. This is actually really cool. So this give us an idea that if you are making a 3D game, right now we are stable in the 60s, uh, on the 60 frames. So this gives you an idea um, and by the way, this is real-time rendering, so there is that. Which this gives you an idea if you want to make a video game that is a 3D with a very high quality assets. And I'm not sure if this project use, uses ray tracing or not, but the lighting is all over the place. And all over the place, I mean in a good way, like over the character. There is the shadows and everything, but I'm not completely sure if there is ray tracing open for this project or not that is something to figure out later but let's go down here i'm curious to see what's in this room oh wow there is a dummy huh interesting that dummy reminds me of uh, the movie irobot hehe <laughs> and there is another dummy here okay i guess that makes sense since it's a factory i honestly can stay here for like hours and hours just trying to see oh let's let's go over there let's see what's up oh nice that's actually cool can we jump here oh no we cannot okay i guess we went back can you climb it no you cannot okay i guess we need to add some functionality for you so you can do other single for some reason when i am near the train over there it goes to 25 and after that it goes really high but overall we are doing well they look really nice oh there is an auto jump as well so if you come across here he will jump by himself which is cool oh wow would you look at that okay would it move oh no i thought it would move that would have been cool i will check one more door then oh i can i can drive it let's go Oh, I see. Oh, no, 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 come back. <laughs> come back. Come back, please. Come back, come back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to jump. I, I, I want to see what's up there. Let's go. Okay, now you can go up. Yes, yes. Look at me floating. Let's go. Okay, don't tell me that I am just here facing my fear of heights and nothing else. Can I at least jump over there? Eh, no, I couldn't. Eh, well, oh, oh well. That was a nice try. I honestly, wow, okay, yeah, if I keep just playing with this, it's gonna take a while. Can we use this door? No, we cannot use this door. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but oh well. Yeah, there is a door over there. There's a double over there. Oh, ooh, ooh. is there is a crime here? Someone not alive in this area? I hate those closets like that. They are always scary. Like in every movie, they mean something bad. Oh, shower and a bathroom. Ooh, reminds me of Resident Evil. I get oh safety first. Of course, safety first. Yes, sir. That's why. That's why I told you someone is like not alive in there. This is the test for Unreal Engine 5, and can you make a game with it? 100% you can make a game. Yes, the loading times might be a little bit 
on the longer side, but I would definitely change the system profile if from just the normal system profile, the automatic to high power and then use it because I am sure with high power, you will be getting more stuff in general. The machine is actually not warm. Huh? I thought it would actually be warmer than that. I kind of touched it. I was anticipating it would be really hot, but no, it's, it's, it's just normal. That's everything I have. Thanks so much uh, for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.